I'm Melissa Rowland with the Los Angeles Times here with Lakers blogger Mark Medina and we just watched the Lakers steamroll the Minnesota Timberwolves 104 to 85 behind Kobe Bryant's 31 points. Bryant was coming off of not only a concussion but a broken nose. How impressive was he tonight? Oh, Kobe was astronomical. I mean, we've seen him play through injuries before. I mean, this whole season he's been nursing that torn ligament in his right wrist, but concussions are a whole different animal. The NBA actually instituted a policy this past December that stipulates if a player suffers a concussion, he has to go through a series of tests to show that he hasn't shown symptoms and he has to stay asymptomatic for at least 24 hours after that concussion. The Lakers didn't know if he was even going to play until he saw a neurologist about an hour before tip-off and, and he was able to pass all the tests. And not only is that impressive, but to score 31 points as if nothing was wrong beyond, you know, wearing that mask, it's beyond belief. <laughs> the Lakers improved to 15-2 and two at home tonight. We're just past the midway point of the season. What's your assessment of where they stand right now? Well, they've been a big-time work in progress ever since the season started. I mean, they've had to institute new coaching staff, new coaching philosophies, and a lot of roster changes. And I think in the second half of the season, uh, there's going to be improvement as far as that chemistry goes. I know Andrew Godlock talked to me in the locker room after the game saying that Derek Fisher really grabbed uh, everyone together and just emphasized the need to, to block out everything going on and to just continue to work and make things better. That being said, the Lakers are a fundamentally flawed team. They haven't addressed their point guard needs uh, outside of Kobe Bryant. There really hasn't been that much offensive consistency. And then there's a huge drop off from the big three with Kobe, Pau Gasol, and Andrew Bynum. The bench showed some signs tonight of improvement and some chemistry, but that's always come in spurts. So uh, unless they make a major upgrade, uh, you know, before the March 15th deadline, you know, this isn't a championship caliber roster. There will be some improvements offensively, but that's not going to solve their problems necessarily. Speaking of the importance of the Lakers big three, I have a question for you. Why was Kobe Bryant and Pau Gasol put back in the game in the fourth quarter after the <laughs> Lakers jumped to over a 20-point lead? Welcome to Mike Brown's <laughs> coach, coaching decisions. Uh, it, it boggles my mind, too, Melissa. So we've seen time and time again Kobe playing a lot of minutes, Pau playing a lot of heavy minutes, and, and part of it's warranted. This team has a depleted roster. There's a lot of times where they simply have to rely on them to carry the load. There's been a lot of times, including tonight, where either the Lakers had a very cushy double-digit lead or the opposite. They're down by a lot of double digits, still kept them in the game. I don't understand it. He always maintains, well, he wants to establish rhythm. And granted, they're able to lower their minutes, but still, when you have these double-digit wins, they don't come off, and you just got to rest them late in the fourth quarter. Bynum finished with 13 points and 13 boards. I know that he received some treatment on his knee during the All-Star break. How is he holding up health-wise right oh, now? He, he's been fine. I mean, uh, everyone is rightfully concerned, every Laker fan, about Andrew Bynum's health because there's never a season where it seems like he can stay healthy. But so far this season he has. And this procedure that he had over the All-Star break, it was more routine. It was a preventative measure to just make sure that his right knee was in stable condition, uh, but he looked great out there. I mean, there was no residual effects from there. You saw maybe in a little bit of the All-Star game, he was limited, played only six minutes, didn't score any in his debut. Part of that was by design to limit it, but part of it was some of the, the aftermath from that treatment. But as far as everything tonight, no side effects whatsoever. So for a little bit, Laker fans can breathe a sigh of relief regarding his knee. Lakers fans can not only breathe a sigh of relief, but they can say a little cheer tonight. Lakers won. I'm Melissa Rowland here with Mark Medina.